you might want to think twice about where you travel to. When looking for an adventure, people often first seek out famous landmarks. They want excitement, perhaps an opportunity to be a part of history. But some places hold a dark secret, one that no one ever bargains for. These are 10 famous landmarks that are haunted. Number one is the Great Pyramid of Giza. On November 26, 1922, after seven years of searching, archaeologist Howard Carter finally discovered the tomb of the boy pharaoh Tutankhamun and all the treasures that came with it. Many people feared for the man's life as it was said that there was a famous curse on the tomb that claimed death shall come on swift wings to him that toucheth the tomb of the pharaoh. Though it's been said that Carter avoided the ancient curse and died peacefully in 1939, many have claimed to have seen him wandering the Pyramid of Giza, as if his soul is not being allowed to rest. Additionally, floating orbs have been seen, whispering and footsteps have been heard, and even two young children were seen running about the crypts only to vanish. Number two is Edinburgh Castle. Scotland is no stranger to ghost stories, having a number of castles with almost every one of them said to be haunted. But by far the most famous of them overlooks what is said to be the most haunted city in all of Europe, Edinburgh. Throughout history, Edinburgh Castle has been the site of considerable death and bloodshed, creating the perfect site for paranormal activity. Hundreds upon hundreds of tourists and staff at the castle have reported feeling being pulled at, shoved, pinched or otherwise touched by something that they couldn't see. The sounds of whispering, screaming, laughing, and the bang of a drum have all been heard, and many have seen the legendary headless drummer boy himself. Other visible apparitions include a decrepit old man, an angry woman, battered prisoners, and a ghostly dog that wanders the cemetery on the grounds. One chilling tale tells of a piper who wandered the tunnels under the castle hundreds of years ago. He played his bag pipes as he marched, so people could track his progress, but suddenly he stopped playing. He was never found, but it was said on a dark night you can still hear him playing. Number 3 is Corvin Castle. Located in Romania, Corvin Castle is known to the locals as Hunyad Castle, but you may better know it as Dracula's Castle. Built between 1307 and 1315 by Charles I, Corvin is widely considered to be one of the most haunted castles in the world, and with a dark history like this place has, it's no wonder that it has the reputation that it does. Corvin Castle's interior fountain was said to have been constructed by Turkish prisoners who were promised freedom upon completion, but never got it. It's said that their angry spirits still wander the halls. A dungeon under the castle's Hall of Knights was even home to Vlad the Impaler for seven years years, from 1462 until 1469, as King Corvin had him in prison there. It's said that this is where the blood-crazed ruler truly lost his mind, and became the legendary ruthless inspiration for Bram Stoker's Dracula. Visitors have claimed to have heard screaming of slaves, seeing silhouettes of figures in pictures taken there, and some have even claimed that angry spirits have left marks on them, torturing them as they spent the night there. Number four is Bangar Fort. Built by King Sawe Mado Singh in the early 1600s, Bangar Fort is surrounded by ruins and the decaying husks of several temples that have withered so much it's hard to pinpoint just how many there actually were 400 years ago. To put it simply, it looks just like the kind of place people could easily go missing. Though the fort is a world famous landmark, the local Indian people refuse to live anywhere near it. In fact, young locals call it Boot Bangla or the Fort of Ghosts. At night, multiple ghosts have been sighted walking about the structure, so much so that locals were forced to have the entire fort locked up. It's even said that several people who have foolishly spent the night there have been found dead the next morning, making Bangar Fort not only an Indian landmark, but also the most haunted place in all of India. Number 5 is Chateau de Chateaubriand. 
Located in France, Chateau de Chateaubriand was first constructed in the 11th century, and since then has seen a great deal of murder, war, and mystery. Part of that mystery involves the ghosts who tend to appear, some of them on a routine schedule. On October 16, 1537, Francois de Foix died in her room inside Chateaubriand. A mistress of King Francis I of France, she was killed by her husband, Jean de Laval, who couldn't handle his knowledge of the affair. Since then, on October 16th of every year, the ghost of Francois can be seen wandering around the castle. It's been said that a bloodstain often appears on the floor of her room where she died. And if you're there at the stroke of midnight on that anniversary, you can watch a procession of ghosts, knights, monks, and Francois herself that make their way up their staircase. Number six is Castle of Good Hope. Castle of Good Hope was built in South Africa in 1674 and stands today as the oldest and largest of the country's colonial buildings. A big draw for tourists, the fortress houses quite a few specters, including a tall glowing man who's been seen standing atop the fort's high walls, staring down at the town below. If you're truly lucky, you might even see him leap off the wall to his apparent death. In the 1700s, a soldier hanged himself in the bell tower, and the room was sealed off and to this day, people claim to hear one of the bells ringing from time to time. It's also said that you can hear the hanging man's footsteps as he makes his way to the spot where he took his own life. Other ghosts include a crying woman in grey, a beautiful young lady, and a black ghostly hound that pounces on people, even knocking them to the ground before disappearing. Number 7 is the Forbidden City. There's a lot of reasons this city has the name that it does. Located in Beijing, China, the Forbidden City, or the Purple City as it's known there, was the imperial palace for the Ming Dynasty. Built between 1406 and 1420, the palace was only accessible by the upper class, with anyone deemed unworthy not even allowed to hear the stories that it exists. The Forbidden City had over 600 years of assassinations, plotting, and cold-blooded murder in its history. That said, there's no wonder why the building is known as one of the most haunted places in not only China but the entire world. The most famous ghost there is the Weeping Woman, who has been seen in white garments crying in various parts of the complex. Guards and passers-by have reported hearing someone play a flute even though there's no discernible source. Other ghosts, including royalty, guards, and even some concubines who were murdered there have also been seen. Number eight is Mount Everest. Mount Everest is known for its incredibly difficult challenge of reaching the top, but what's lesser known is the sheer amount of death that's happened there. Which makes sense, those who climb this mountain have to face a climb that surpasses 29,000 feet above sea level, so death is very much a risk. A number of people who've attempted to climb Everest have reported seeing ghosts of those who died on the mountain at various points in their journey from base camp to peak. Over 220 human beings have lost their lives trying to reach the top, with some of them radioing down, claiming to see people in old climbing gear standing in front of them before the radio goes permanently silent. Some of the ghosts seem to encourage climbers to make it, while others, seemingly jealous of them, go about trying to scare them right off the rock. Number 9 is the Tower of London. Easily one of the most haunted places in the United Kingdom, the Tower of London has multiple spirits in it, almost all of them malevolent. Built by William the Conqueror on the north bank of the River Thames in 1078, the tower is officially known as Her Majesty's Royal Palace and Fortress, and is home to the ghosts of Anne Boleyn, Lady Jane Grey, and Thomas A. Becket, as well as many others. Beheaded on May 19, 1536, Queen Anne Boleyn is said to be the most widely seen and persistent of the building's paranormal inhabitants. Witnesses claim she walks about the castle, a headless apparition, while others have seen her wandering around the site of her execution. The ghosts of two separate children, former princes, have also been seen, walking as they hold hands with looks of sheer horror on their faces, silently whispering, come play with us. And number 10 is the White House. 
Quite possibly the world's most famous house, the White House is not just a place that the President of the United States and their family calls home, but it's also home to a number of apparitions. It's been reported by multiple people, including Prime Minister Winston Churchill and Presidents Roosevelt, Hoover, and Eisenhower, that Abraham Lincoln himself has appeared in the building, standing by a fireplace, pacing the upper hallways, or, in one occurrence, not on bedroom doors at night. He's considered the most frequently sighted ghost in the White House, with many suggesting that since he was assassinated, he left a lot of work unfinished. The ghosts of Presidents Andrew Jackson, Thomas Jefferson, and John Tyler have been encountered as well as a number of other individuals, including ex-first ladies, employees, and even British soldiers. People have heard voices, felt cold spots, and seen full-bodied apparitions appear before them, making the White House a paranormal anomaly. So, those were 10 famous landmarks that are haunted. But I want to know from you, what do you think of these paranormal encounters? Are they simply people's imaginations playing tricks on them in the dark, or something more diabolical? Leave your comments below because I'll be reading through them and I'm going to pin the best one to the top. But as always, thank you guys so much for coming by today. Remember to come back tomorrow and every weekday at exactly 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'll have a brand new video for you. I'll see you then.